Members of the academic staff union in their numbers barricading the entrance of the institution. They allege and a warning against plans to sack 250 academic personnel as the state government is set to upgrade the Polytechnic to a University of Science and Technology. I wonder why somebody of Professor Vikram will be denying the fact that he has not talked to us. He said it emphatically that we all have to reapply. And I don't think that is in the spirit of the, what the governor wants for Ogun State. And so that um, the governor must hear us because they have made sure that they barricade us from talking to the governor. They don't want to listen to us. And we felt this is the only means that they can hear us. We will not reapply. Giving the position of the national executive of the union on this development, the Southwest Zonal Chairman of the union, Mr. Olawale Adetunji, asks the technical committee to follow due process in carrying out the mandate given to it by the government. If something new is to come, let it start with new hands. We have no problem with the policy, but carrying the people along, the stakeholders along, is the challenges of the day. And then the chapter has come up with a position and saying that they want to understand what are the documents for implementation of this policy. Meanwhile, the chairman of the technical committee, Professor Peter Okebukola, in a press statement, debunked the allegation, noting that there will be no job loss. He also assures the government and the people of the state that in the shortest possible time, the Moshuda Biola University of Science and Technology and the Ogun State Polytechnic Ipokia will be revered for quality education in the country.